And we're on the approach to the hard knot. You see that sort of rock formation, which that's the bit we're going to be going over. So if you're from the UK, you've probably heard of the hard knot pass in Cumbria in the northwest of England. It's a notorious, challenging, difficult mountain pass uh, with apex bends, I think the maximum of 30 degrees, 33 degrees in some places. So very challenging and achievement to get through it. So I'm doing this hard knot pass anti-clockwise. I did it clockwise last year. Uh, and this is the second video, so you probably watched the previous video. So what I thought I'd do, I'd type in on my latest browser, which is upgraded to the latest AI technology. I just typed in, tell me about the hard knot pass. And I'm just going to read this brief section to tell you about it. And it, I think it explains it in perfect detail so you get a good idea what it's, what it's all about. So I'll, I'll read on. The hard knot pass is a hill pass located in the Lake District National Park, Cumbria in England. It is a single track road that connects the central Lake District with West Cumbria and is technically the most direct route between the two regions. The road is steep and difficult with a maximum gradient of 33 degrees and is considered one of the steepest roads in England. The road is 20.7 kilometres or 12.9 miles long and runs from Estdale to Little Langdale. Uh, the road was built by the Romans and is filled with sharp hairpin turns and is the width of a bridleway. Uh, the road is known for its challenging nature and is often described as one of Britain's most dangerous roads or outrageous roads. Visitors are often warned to take hour-long detours to avoid braving its twisting single-track slalom up a mountainside. The road has been the site of many accidents and cars suffering brake failures, drivers freezing with the challenge and skids and misjudgments causing cars to plunge off the narrow carriageway. Despite its challenges, some consider the Hardnut Pass a landmark to be celebrated uh, and a challenge to be attempted. Uh, so there you go, that's a good explanation of the, the Hardnut Pass. So let, let's crack on with the video and, and see how we get on, me and Ken. I think my attack plan will just be not too fast, not too slow, in a low gear, high revs, and then just try and get the apex right and and obviously make sure nothing's come in before I go up it. So we've just started the hard knot from that sign where I've just put my sticker. <laughs> First thing I would say is uh, the bracken's quite high, so you can't really see beyond the headline or the top top of the bracken so that's not good just have to keep wide in case another vehicle comes and have to keep my uh, momentum from what I can remember I think it's at the top there that's where the most difficult bit is this bit's just a bit windy not nothing too demanding but at least we can see right up the top of the hill Unless there's any cars in them dips, there's uh, no traffic coming down that I can see. I'm in second gear. This is just flat, but we'll start to go uphill in a minute. As you can see, that camera's come loose again, isn't it? All right, this is where it gets a bit demanding then. All right. Ken's smiling. <laughs> I don't know whether to stand up or stay in my seat. I'm in first gear here. I think first gear is the optimal gear to. I'm going to quick look up there, make sure there's nothing coming. Yeah, this is the bend I remember. This is the most difficult, I've got a good arc in there and there's a car coming, I've got round, he stopped, that's the one that was the most difficult one. Ken's made it, he's behind me, thank you. So I don't know where, I bet that camera's fell down, it has doesn't it. That was one of the hard bends to do. I have seen a video of somebody, I think they came off there not sure why, uh, whether it was the bike, the conditions, the load, just got the trajectory right, wrong rather, I, just, I don't know, but I'm happy that's 50% done for me. 
this, uh, this is the top, the brow of the hill, top of the hard knot. And as far as I know, we've got one more bit to do to get down. There's another sharp apex. Ten, Ken's tail. Look at that for a view. Wow, that is spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> Give Ken the celebratory sign. Never mind that DMT, concentrate. There's a car coming. He's spotted me, I've spotted him. Who's got right of well we've got a, a passing bit here, so we can nip in here, let him by. Go on then. Jesus. He's taking his time. I was running out of place to stay in that passing place. Spectacular. No, I think this is the beginning of the uh, the next hard bit where there's really sharp. This is the beginning of the next hard bit. The car coming here, I can see the top of the roof. Should I wait here? Yeah, I'm going to wait here. This is the second phase going down over the, des the descent, you can see. And I, th I know there's a, a hairpin bend here as well. Look how high it is. Wow. Spectacular views. I think this is the bit that came up where I nearly went off the road. I think that was it, and I think that that's as uh, as bad as it gets. A couple of sh small hairpins, but I think we've done it. A sharp one here. Ken's right behind me. I said to him, so don't get too close to me in case I fall off. You're going to come off as well. He's, I guess that's hopefully a, a sign that he's got every confidence in me. He's close behind me. This is lovely now. I think that was a bit easier coming anti-clockwise. I just remember running wide the first time I came clockwise and I nearly went to the verge. Uh, I don't think there's anything more demanding that I can see. No, I think that's it. So there we go, the hard knot, done. Beautiful. <laughs> so I can cross that off the bucket list. Guys, if you've not done the Hard Knot Pass and the Rhinos, the Windlatter, Coniston Lake, Der Derwent Water Reservoir, and we've got the Con Con Coniston Lake, I think it is to do now, where you ride alongside the reservoir, that's beautiful. If you've not done this loop, if you said to me, what's the one ride you would do in England if you had to pick one? Easily the Lakeland Loop, without a doubt without a doubt anybody that's done it drop a comment down below let me know if you think that's uh, the case the best ride in England um, not comparing it to any of the other countries in the British Isles just just in England let's just say what's the best loop you've ever done in England is the one that's better than the hard knot or the uh, Lakeland loop let me know in the comments if there is I'll be going on it <laughs> because I don't think you can top this one. I don't, I don't think you can beat this. This is just unbelievable. Just to say, in case you missed the previous episode, me and Ken rode the Honister Newlands on Windlatter Passes. In the next video, I'll show a bit of the Rhinos Pass. Unfortunately, the stunning Kirkstone Pass was closed due to a retaining wall subsiding. I may show you a bit of the Kirkstone Pass from last year. And as promised, I'll cover a bit of the faster flowing ascent up the Heartside Pass which takes us back to the accommodation for a well-earned rest.